Hello and welcome to this training session on how to log into and use Surgery Connect's user console. To be able to access your account, go to your usual Surgery Connect login screen, or if this is the first time that you'll use this system, please enter into your Chrome browser, www.swgp.org. Your username and password will be given to you by your practice manager. So once you have this information, enter the details and click login. So now you're into the application dashboard, we're going to click on the user console. All these applications are accessible when you're in the user console. As I work for Waterside Medical Centre, my email address has been used for the practice phone system in addition to the PCN Resilience Hub system. So if your practice doesn't have an Exxon Surgery Connect system yet, you will not see this screen as it will take you straight into the PCN Resilience Hub. Okay, so once you're into the user console, you will see a log of all the calls that you have made and answered. And you can sort these by using the filter options. You can also listen back to the calls you have made or received by clicking on the green playback button on the left hand side. So moving over to the right hand side of the user console, it shows you all the users that have been added to the PC Resilience Hub. You can sort these in alphabetical order in their practices or you can search for a particular user. You can also filter by the practice which you will probably use the most as there is no real need at this moment in time to see who else is on the system outside of your practice. And you can also filter by the user state. So if you wish to call a user all you would need to do is click on their name and it will ask you if you wish to call them. At this moment in time, all users are offline, so the call will not connect. So moving on to the soft phone application. This is located within the user console and it also has its own full screen dashboard. So click on the bar in the bottom right active status bar and the soft phone app will pop up. So by clicking on your active status, it allows you to change your user status to whatever you need. To make a call, you can use the on-screen dialer, the number keypad on your actual keyboard, or paste a copy number into the dark blue box and then click the green phone button to call the number. When the call has been answered, you have the option to mute. This means the person on the other end won't be able to hear you, but you will be able to hear them. You also have the option to hold. This will play hold music to the person on the other end, but you will not be able to hear the person and they won't be able to hear you. Remember, all calls are recorded, so if you're experiencing a difficult call, for example, the patient is being abusive and you need to put them on hold, I would advise that you put the call on mute instead of hold as it will record everything they say. Once you are finished with the call, press the red button to end the call. Please note that you cannot transfer a call using the system at this moment in time. I would advise that you inform the patient that you will inform the person that they need to talk to, that they will contact them back. To hide the soft phone application, just click on the two white down facing arrows. If you wish to learn more about the soft phone application, please watch my video called Logging In and the Use of Soft Phones. So looking at other aspects in the user console, the phone dialer in the top ribbon is only for use when you are using an Exxon Surgery Connect physical handset or you have a mobile number that's linked within the system. You can see what is set up by clicking on your initials and under the number section it will display what you are able to use. If you only have the soft phone available in your numbers, the phone dialer will not work. So please use a soft phone to make any calls. By clicking on your initials, you can also make amendments to your user status. On next to the phone dialer that displays two speech bubbles is the text service. I wouldn't advise using this as it does not link to the patient on EMIS. To text a patient, please use Accurex chain as it saves within the patient's records. The next icon is the three blue lines which will give you access to the full soft phone app dashboard. Support portal if you have any issues with the actual system, but I would suggest contacting the Digital Angels first if you have an issue as we have admin rights to make amendments to the system. The voicemail section is where all the voicemails will be kept, however we have not enabled this for patients to leave voicemails, therefore you will never need to use this section. So moving to the green icons at the bottom of the screen will show you how many users are currently available, 
how many calls are queued and how many inbound calls have been received. But please remember that these results show for the whole of your PCN and not just the results of your practice. Once you are finished using the Surgery Connect system, please remember to log out. You can do this by clicking on the three lines in the top ribbon and clicking Log Out. If you have any questions or require further training using the system, please do get in touch by emailing Digital Angels on digital.angels at Thank you.